Plenty of goals in Group A, two draws in Group B. And now it's time to see what Group C and D can offer here at the 2016 BLK Silver Boot. Hello everyone, Rafe Griffin with you for this edition of the Highlight Show. And first of all, it's Brisbane City versus Albany Creek. And here's Cameron Miller for Albany Creek, trying to get his way around the defender. Instead lays it off here for Radulovic. Trying to curl it into the top right-hand corner. Just can't dip in time. Stevens here. Looking for options up the park. And there for Jake Kashiri. It's his head up. Spots Jason Park operating down the left wing. Park makes his way into the box now. Sibichuara at the back post. Composed finish. And Sam Sibichuara. The former Raw Youth player puts Brisbane City up 1-0 on the quarter hour mark. Sibichuara unmarked at the back stick. And with composure, puts it past Tom Sherwood. Udemoto, a touch on there. Here's Miller. Clancy's off his line. And Fujimoto looking to take advantage of that fact, but... Just can't quite get his shot on target there. Throw in comes for Biggins. On for Coulson, who's joined Brisbane City from near neighbours. Brisbane striker Sibichuara again getting involved. Complaints of offside from the Albany Creek defenders. But Matt Biggins has extended Brisbane City's advantage here on the half hour mark. Sibichuara claims of offside. And. Uh, Matt Biggins able to slot that one away after Sherwood, unable to hold on to the save. Now it's Miller again for Albany Creek, brought down outside the box by Nathan Bird. Radulovic over this free kick. Oh, onto the woodwork. Had the keeper beaten. Still alive here for Albany Creek, but then cleared away at the end. So City have a 2-0 lead as we... Head into the dying embers of this match. Manat Gia. Back there for Monjok. Shin Park. And easily collected there by the keeper. I've had a late injury here. And Harvey Cohen will blow full time. Brisbane City win this match 2 0 over Albany Creek. And a moment silence being held here for the death of Football Brisbane CEO Mike Quarnbury. His father passed away during the week. Our next match pits the Brisbane Premier League's Capelaba against Gold Coast City. An early chance here for Tim Dunn and Vitakangas down to his left. Gold Coast City claims of handball and given. And the yellow card also forthcoming there to Zach Coulson. There's a bit of a chat to the referee, questioning decision. Here's Roman Hoffman. Good effort there from Sam Chandler, but unable to stop Hoffman's penalty. And Gold Coast City, who were formerly Palm Beach in the NPL, have the opening goal. Here's David Kai. He's come from East in the off-season. Gets one-on-one -on -one with Vinny Kangas. Vidi Kangas couldn't stop him, but the upright could. Here's Kai again looking to create danger. Brought down there by Jones. Another yellow card here for that challenge. Free kick to Capella Bar to be taken by Thompson. Drives it in. Beats Vidi Kangas. Great free kick there by Andy Thompson. And the Bulldogs are on level terms. Andy Thompson... Around and over the wall. And Vitakangas beaten. Hiriyama loses possession. Mackay, the Gold Coast City captain, forced backwards here by Kai. Oh, straight into the path here of Sam Watt. Watt gets around Vitakangas. The Bulldogs lead 2-1.
Mackay trying to get it off to one of his teammates. What there between the two defenders? Wrong foot's fit of Kangas, and he's left powerless to act. Here's Mackay again. And there for Reese Saunders. Now Hoffman, the Gold Coast City goal scorer. Saunders getting involved again, cuts it back! And Gold Coast have equalised here. See who that goal is credited to in the end. Saunders gets his way against Zach Coulson and unfortunately Liam Fisher has turned it into the back of his own net. Here's Saunders again, calls of leave it and he takes it himself. Saunders, Saunders zeroes in on Chandler. The defender's holding off him. And Reese Saunders gives Gold Coast City back the lead now. Composes himself and puts it to the right of Sam Chandler. So Gold Coast City will take this one. They've defeated Capella Bar 3-2 in the second match from Group C. Yeah. Group D's turn now. It's Ipswich Knights from the Brisbane Premier League against the NPL's South West Queensland Thunder. Back pass there. That's uh, collected by... Mitch Davis and the South West Queensland Thunder have conceded the first goal through a defensive error and Mitch Davis has taken full advantage here boring in the last line of defence tried his best but ultimately Mitch Davis gives the Knights the first goal and the early advantage here's Jafari met there by Baker Ball trundles into the back of the net. Mustafa Jafari, who was at Olympic at the start of last year, ended up at Rochdale Rovers and now at the South West Queensland Thunder. Congratulates his teammates on providing the service for him. Mustafa Jafari puts the Thunder back to one all. And again the Thunder looking to find another goal here prior to the half-time break. Cross in from Big B. Here's Barraclift. Barraclift on there. Has there been a touch there by Devin Munn? And yes, the referee, Alex King, has pointed to the spot. And in an unusual thing we don't see too often, Luke Borian, the South West Queensland Thunder, has come up to take the penalty. And a keeper has scored. And not only that, the Thunder have hit the lead. Play down in the back play continues though. Here's Jafari again. Inside the box. Jafari now to the six yard box. Peok's there on hand. And Majok Peok gives the Thunder a two goal advantage after going down early doors. Jafari in behind the Knights defence. Evades the challenge there of Chris Butler. And Majok Peok on hand. And midway through the second half, Thunder have a two goal lead. Here's Barraclift again for Peok. He's beaten the offside trap. He'll get one on one here with Baker. Puts it to the wrong side as Baker tries to get his hand or something on that ball from Majok Peok. And Thunder look to have this one under control with just under a quarter of an hour to play but here's Andy Butler now for the Knights coming from Lions in the off season and Andy Butler has scored his first goal for his new club Andy Butler using his pace Peter Drago is there also if he needed to use him and have some assistance so Ipswich Knights giving themselves some hope in this match and trouble here for Rowan Solomon 
He's been booked. I think he's already been booked previously. Alex King just consulting with his assistant. And out comes the red card. Rowan Solomon gets his marching orders. Second yellow card. And Southwest Queensland Thunder will be down to 10 men for the remaining six and a half minutes. But it looks as though they're going to hold on here. And indeed they do. Ipswich Knights go down to the Southwest Queensland Thunder by four goals to two in the first match from Group D. Well, what a tasty one this should be. An all Brisbane Premier League clash between the sides that finished in the top two places on the Premiership table last year. The host Lions FC up against Eastern Suburbs, the defending champions of this tournament. And they're looking to get their defence off to the best possible start here. Oh, and Simic in the race there with Costa Saros. And he's put it into the back of his own net. The experienced defender just couldn't quite get it right there. And Zabax un unable to stop the ball from crossing the goal line. Lions looking to reply here. Here's Butters and he does so. Michael Butters levels it up midway through the first half. Ball played in for Butters in a bit of space. And slides it past Tom Carroll. This is Nelson Burgess. Cuts across. Again, Lions looking to clear their lines here. Off the woodwork. One all at half time, epitomising the tight nature of matches between these two sides. Put through there by Shepard for Schiavo, out wider. Now it's for Schiavo again, and somehow he manages to negotiate away there through the East defenders. And Alex Schiavo has given his side the lead. Poor attempted clearance there, and as it slid between a couple of the legs there from Alex Schiavo, beaten Tom Carroll, who's perhaps up unsighted there at his near post. Lions with the advantage. 20 to play. Long range effort here from Andre Bonotto. Well, Andre Bonotto, if you want to see a spectacular goal, call on him from about 30, 35 metres out. No mistake. But he's looking to Get a reply here as Andy Coyne made the run. So we're in the death throes of this match. Lions content to play it in the corner. And that will do it. Lions, 3-1 winners over Easts. So taking a look at the results and tables from Group C and Group D. Just to recap, Group C, Brisbane City were 2-0 winners against Albany Creek. Gold Coast 3-2 over Capella Bar. That means that Brisbane City have the lead on the table on goal difference from Gold Coast City. In Group D, South West Queensland Thunder defeated Ipswich Knights while Lions defeated Eastern Suburbs. And in an unusual sight, you don't usually see South West Queensland Thunder at the top of the table, but they are after the first match day of Group D. <laughs>